again, another day full of no ideas. I can never come up with ideas. Let me type out ideas. Maybe that will help me come up with ideas. Nope, it didn't. Still don't have ideas. Speak of the devil, how does he even know I'm talking about? I don't know. Yes, intern Charlie, come in. I'm just gonna creep on in here. Hi, oh man, you look mad. I am so sorry to bother you, but I overheard you talking about ideas and I feel like I have a good idea right now and I just wanted to present it to you. Please don't be mad. Okay, so remember when you were in a metal band? Oh man, I'm gonna stop you real quick because first off, that was 10 years ago. Second off, how's that going to help my ideas out right now? I know, I know it was 10 years ago, but wait a minute. What if, just hear me out, what if we mixed NBA basketball teams with heavy metal graphics and mashed them up to create an epic video? What do you think? You don't look that impressed, but I'm telling you right now, you try my idea out, it will show you that I'm the superior Charlie that came off wrong. I'm going to leave now. You look mad. Wait, why are you grabbing that? Oh, okay, now you're being aggressive. I'm gonna leave. I guess intern Charlie says that we need to mash up NBA teams with heavy metal graphics. And I come from a heavy metal background. I was in a band growing up. I did heavy metal vocals, so this is fitting for me. He had a good idea, even though I hate to admit it. He's probably behind that door listening to me right now. He's he's honestly an asshole. Don't let him know I said that. Um, Sir, I can still hear you from out here. You're kind of mean. So yeah, we're going to go with the Los Angeles Clippers for this video. And the reason why is because it's my first basketball game I've ever been to. I'm not big on basketball, but uh, it was fun. I had a great time. Poor team, man. They're going to be in for a treat because we're going to do some crazy shit with this. Uh, and honestly, they might hate me after this. But uh, let's uh, first make the background black because you can't have a heavy metal shirt without a black background. I want to make this look crazy heavy metal, but I also don't want to like destroy the players, meaning what, you can't like tell who they are. So it's going to be kind of interesting to like maneuver that. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I think what I want to do first is probably focus on the background elements with the text. So let's type out clippers first and let's start creating some crazy death metal font that will look cool with this composition that we're about to create and i, I really don't know what i'm going to be doing with this honestly like it's either going to look really good or really bad um there's going to be no in between <laughs> i'm just telling you that right now the the question is do i go with this font or do i go with another one but i kind of like it this isn't my first choice with a font, but I will say it works. So we're gonna stick with it. It kind of gives me more of a hardcore look, like hardcore band vibe, but I'm not mad at it either. And then the top, maybe you could just do Los Angeles, choose a different font, of course. Maybe we use Denton, I love this font. It's actually amazing. Bring that up, put that right there. Why am I sounding like a frog? I don't know what I'm doing right there. Um, I like it. So I was thinking of having these chains kind of like trickle out so like maybe stop right here and let's just copy these ones. I don't want that N1. I don't really need it. We'll do something like this. And then let's rasterize this layer, cut that, bam. And this is just literally going to be our background element. That's it. And we're going to duplicate it. Yes, yeah, so let's hide the background so you can see what I'm doing. If I hide that, you can see the spacing on each side kind of needs to be similar. And then I'm just going to like basically brush the center out kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just gonna serve as like our background element, so it needs to kind of look cool. Uh, merge both those together. And again, this is just our background element. That's literally it. Command T, let's stretch that thing. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and bring this middle slider down to the right, bring this one up to the, well, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but uh, basically I'm pushing and pulling my midtones, my shadows, and my highlights in order to add a little bit more crunch into the background. We can probably hide both of these layers now and start getting our players cut out of their background. So let's start off with this guy. Um, I don't even know this dude's name, I'll be really honest with you guys. To make my life easier, I'm probably gonna go use a website to cut out the backgrounds. It just saves me a lot of time, and uh, yeah, I don't have time to be cutting out every single player, so I'm just gonna use this app. It's called Click Magic. they're pretty cool. If you guys don't know already, um, they're awesome. And it just basically makes it to where you don't have to, like I said, sit there for hours trying to cut out images, depending on how long it takes you. But uh, 
With this one, I think we're going to just go with it. So let's choose this player, this player. As soon as you upload those images, it's going to automatically cut the background out. So let's let it do its thing and it should work in a second. It doesn't do like a perfect job every time, but this looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. There you go. So we have two cut out already. So we can delete this one. We don't need it. This one's already cut out so we can keep that. This one, I don't think we're going to use. That one we cut out already and that one's already cut out as well. So basically we have like a few images to work with. So let's go ahead and stick with this guy as the focal point maybe, and maybe even turn on everything else too, just to see how we're going to approach this. So he, he's, so this player is probably gonna be my center point. So my focal point, meaning he's going to be the bigger player, just so everything else kind of sits around him, if that even makes sense at all. So we'll center him up. Doesn't have to be blended perfectly yet. We'll get to that. Uh, I like the way that's looking already, though. And then maybe we'll have this guy on the right side, possibly. This player can be somewhere down here, possibly. Maybe this will go above, actually. Yes, I like that. I'm also paying attention to my composition. I don't want things like peeking out too far. I'm going to start blending everything in now so it doesn't look like it's just a sharp cut. These chains, we could probably move up a little bit so they're not peeking out of the bottom. And... It's still looking very plain, but I'm thinking for these players, we could probably do something with their faces to make them look like they have like a skull or something. I don't really know yet. I did something with this Queen Elizabeth graphic that I might want to try for this one. So let's go ahead and convert this to, or maybe even duplicate it so we have a backup. Let's uh, rasterize it. And I just want to take the face off. So I'm going to go something like this. And then we could start moving it, as you can see. And that's looking pretty good already. So maybe... There's a skull under it that's being exposed. And that's another thing. Let's go to Envato Elements real quick and go to um, the 3D section and maybe try to find a skull that will match. Maybe one that's just the top part. I don't know yet. And I'm going to move it off to the side so I can kind of copy the same position. See, it's like not quite where I need it to be, but it's definitely better than nothing. So his jaw is up a little bit more. So I think somewhere around here would look good. So this will be our first position. It's not perfect, but it will it will do for now. And then we'll do one that's straight on as well. And then maybe we'll do one more with his jaw slightly less turned. And now we just kind of resize it to fit our actual player. And this is definitely not the right positioning for this, but it's the best I can find. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. What you want to do first is you actually want to warp the skull into place to make it match the structure of the the player and if it doesn't you just need to fix it so like we need to make sure that everything lines up and as you can see his face is going to be like kind of like ripping off if you will and this will be the skull under it so let's uh toggle the opacity back to 100 percent and that's what it should look like something like that but obviously the the lighting and stuff is pretty bad i don't really like the way that i don't like the way it's sitting unfortunately but it could be because of lighting so i might need to just tweak the lighting a little bit and maybe try to make it match a little bit more. It just looks a little funky to me. And that's just like the way it works sometimes with this stuff. It needs a little shading and all these other things to make it actually look good. So what I'll end up doing is I'll probably mess with the 3D aspect of this first. So let's actually like rasterize this completely, convert it to a smart object, or we could just apply the layer mask actually. And let's duplicate it and bring it in just a little bit. But we want one to be below everything. We're gonna create like a rim, if you will. And then this one could be a little darker to create like that that 3D effect. And sometimes you, it just takes a little bit of love. The main thing is just making it look convincing as possible, as convincing as possible. And this part can even be a little darker, honestly. Like it could be way darker. And then we could delete everything else around it. It does not need to be there. I might create these like little attachments to make it look like skin or something. And maybe we can add some sort of drip effect that might actually work for this. The only problem is the direction of it is not where I want it to be. So that could be an issue. So I might actually end up having to rotate the face on its side first in order to get the right effect that we're going for. So maybe do something like this and then go to exposure software, try the drips again. This might work, it might not. I, I could always do it manually, which is fine. Something like that, let's press okay. And let's hide that second copy now. We don't need it, just for now. And the reason why I'm doing this I don't know what that is. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it to look like it's actually dripping out. So I want it to uh, give it that effect that it has some depth 
and there's actual skin that's pushing away from this. See, it's kind of looking all right. It's just, it's not quite there, but I can always do some clever masking in order to make it work. I, I also, you know, this is kind of a fun video for me, so I, I don't really want to take it too serious either. Like the edits don't have to be perfect. And I'm doing this really quick, of course, so it's not gonna look perfect. But uh, I think once we apply like all of our effects and stuff, it could look really cool. All right, so now we have some stuff going on. It kind of looks like his skin's being ripped a little bit. Better than it was, it's not perfect, but um, what I wanna do now is create another layer and let's name this, uh, let's name this shadows. So this layer would be for the shadows of all the parts that are kind of overlaying on top of our skull. We obviously want the brush to be soft too, so let's actually take the flow down to like 25%, but it's just going to give us that illusion that it is actually overlaying on top. We're gonna add quite a bit of grain and stuff, so it's gonna it's gonna sell the effect a little bit more once we add all the effects. I'm gonna get rid of this top one because I actually don't like it at all. I think it looks stupid. Let's delete that. And then we'll even take the shadow off. I'm just deleting all of that right there and just basically keeping everything else. And then we could toggle on this other layer and just mask out what we just did because obviously we have that backup copy that I was talking about, so that looks way better now. And then um, obviously the skull itself has some issues with levels and stuff. So maybe I can bring a little bit more brightness back into it. This one's tough because the perspectives aren't exactly perfect, but I don't think they need to be. We might end up adding a skull to this guy too. So let me go grab another one. Let's try to copy the same perspective with, uh, for that one as well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not too happy with the, the way the centerpiece worked, but you know, for a quick video, I think it's gonna work. I think, I think at the end of the day, I might be happy with it, um, but I'm just being honest with you guys because you know, this stuff doesn't always work perfectly like we think it's going to. And I think people like are so scared to just try things because they think they're gonna fail. And I just placed a skull onto the other player and I'm just going to try to kind of warp it where I think it needs to be. He does have a beard, so it makes it a little more challenging. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but if I can cover up just the skin part of it, it might actually end up working. See, if I zoom out now, you can see it actually looks like it belongs there. Now let's turn that hue and saturation layer back on so we can see how much of this we need to change as far as like the brightness goes. So I can just use a simple level adjustment for this. And all you really wanna do is make sure the tone matches, that's it. I'm actually gonna convert this to a smart object before adding that levels adjustment so it doesn't actually, you know, get baked into the layer, if you will. See, that looks better already. And maybe I can even add a levels adjustment over this and brighten it up a little bit. But we want it on just the skull part because I don't know if you noticed, but on the his ear right here, there is a little bit more brightness. So Let's uh, invert that mask and just brighten just this part up. We might need to blend the skin in a little bit better too, so I'm gonna try to do a better job than I did. I need to match the colors of the skin tone a little bit more on this because they don't—they just don't match, plain and simple. So I'm gonna try to go to the like midtones, uh, shadows, and highlights, and attempt to get this to look a little bit more like it belongs because right now it looks a little too separated, or it looks a lot separated which makes it look, it just looks funky. This looks fine for being quick and dirty and just getting to the point. I think what I might do too is maybe add some flames to the basketball on the left. This flame actually might work, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. So I'm gonna hide them now and just use just this one flame and see if I can maybe make it look like that basketball is on fire to the left. This will need a little bit of love, but it might work. We can actually bring those flames above just that photo so I know where where it is. And then if I wanted to, I can duplicate it and bring it to the right more so it looks like it's actually going behind. I have these cool embers that I might be able to use on the inside. See, I already like the way that looks, so let's add a layer mask and I'll just mask out certain parts of it that I don't want to show. It actually looks like he's burning at the bottom here, which was not my was not my intentions, but it looks cool. It's It's better than nothing. I think once we add our effects and stuff, it will look pretty cool. I might do one big flame behind everything and uh, yeah, just kind of bring it all together, possibly. So maybe I'll bring this down a little bit. Check this out. Let's just put it really big behind them, something like that. And then let's uh, flip it horizontal and add one on this right side as well. And let's center it and see what it looks like. So, so far I like the way this looks though. I think it adds to the design. Clippers font almost looks like a T, but I'm, I'm not even mad at it, honestly. I think it would be fine. But I do want to add a like an outer glow to give it a little bit more dimension so the flames aren't kind of like, I don't want everything to bleed into each other. I think that looks really weird. So that's kind of why I'm adding that. 
and um, I might want to try to use a logo as well. And then from here, I'm thinking I'm just going to kind of add it somewhere else. Let's add a stroke around it and see what that looks like. See, I like the way that looks already. I think that looks super cool. It could even go up here, honestly, but I think down here is nice. It's a nice touch. I might want to fill the entire eye with that black to make it look a little bit more metal. Yeah, I like that. That looks way better with the eyes darker. I might do a blue and purple-ish color in the background, but then again, like purple's more Laker, so you gotta be careful with that, I guess. Stepping when I walk in like I'm Billy Jean. Red jacket, it's a thriller when I'm on the scene. Paddock on my wrist, now I'm ahead of things. Ain't no time to slow it down. All right, so I hate this design, I'll be honest, but I'm going to apply a filter gallery effect to it real quick to see if I can make it work. I just, I don't know what it was. I just kind of lost track of it, you know? It's one of those designs that just kind of slipped away and I ended up just not loving the vibe of it anymore. Um, it's okay though, you know? I'm still gonna show you guys the final because I think that you should know that not everything's perfect. You know, not all designers can just come up with things on the spot perfectly. I still think it will give you guys a little bit of value either way. So I'm gonna make this layer a smart object just so I have that information in case I need it. Uh, smart objects obviously retain information, so I still want that. And let's just apply a uh, cool effect here. Um, I'm using grain and, and stamp to give it this cool look. So I'm not using too much I really just wanted to keep it minimal. I'm not mad, <laughs> I like it. All right, cool. I think this would look cool as just like a blueprint maybe, having certain elements a different color, but I think that this one would look really good like more like gray. I have another plugin that might look cool. Let's go file new, create. Let's try this plugin that I have and see if this will look any better. This effect is by Black Market Ink Lab and it's just a super cool plugin. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Now I'm losing a lot of detail in the skull area, but that's just because it's so, uh, it's brighter than everything else. So I think that's probably why we're having issues there. When I walk in like I'm Billy Jean Red jacket, it's a thriller when I'm on the scene Paddock on my wrist, now I'm ahead of things Ain't no time to slow it down, I'm on the better things Bust down, that's a watch, huh? Not a sound, you a knob, huh? When I touch down, it's a problem And you know it's do a diet and an option Ay, Six chains like I'm Kumo I'm a heavyweight, got my pockets on sumo Kick game judo, six rings, you know Ain't a thing you know I'm heating up, but I'm too cold Too drippy, yeah, I make it look easy. Hands too sticky by the mall, yeah, believe me. Pull up to the jeweler, need a dog, don't tease me. Now they see me shining, dog, it can get, it can, it can, it can get dangerous. Need a, need a ring on each finger. Uh, one for each friend turn stranger. Cause once they see the money, they gon' change up. Uh, but I got six chains like I'm Kumo. I'm a heavyweight, got my pockets on sumo. It's kick game judo, six rings, you know. Ain't a thing you know I'm heating up, but I'm too cold. I'm officially done with this graphic. There's one thing I forgot to do, which was remove the branding on the jerseys. I'll probably do that right now because I just don't like it. But uh, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. Now that all the effects are on it, I actually think it added to the whole aesthetic of the design. I'm going to leave you guys with some mock-ups to show this on a physical shirt. Just understand that I do not own rights to print this or resell it or anything like that. This was strictly for entertainment purposes. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you guys want to see next. My name is Charlie. I'll catch you guys in the next one.